I am Anil Kumar. We have few properties of logarithms to explore in this video. So here we are working with three basic properties of logarithms, which is log b of x w, that is product, could be written as sum of logarithms. In this case, the quotient of x and w with logarithm could be written as their difference. And if we have a power, that means log to the base b of x to the power of r, it could be written in the form r times log b of x. Now these properties can be easily proven also. You should remember there are restrictions on logarithms. So in this particular example, we should have x as greater than 0 and w also as greater than 0. Otherwise, the logarithmic function will not be defined and r, which is in the last example, belongs to a set of real numbers, right? So these are the restrictions on these properties. So we'll look into these properties. I can also give you a short proof of this. A uh, proof could be kind of like this. You can write the logarithms in exponential form. So for the first one, for example, I could say log b of x, let it be equals to s. In that case, I will write x as equals to b to the power of s. Now I could also write log b of w as let's say t. In that case, w is equals to b to the power of t. Okay, so we get x as b to the power of s, w as b to the power of t, right? So now if I replace x and w with these terms here, what do I get? I get log to the base b. Instead of x, I am writing b to the power of s. And for w, b to the power of t, right? That gives us log to the base b of b to the power of s plus t. And from the property which we learn, which is the basic property, this could be written as s plus t. Now what is s and what is t? s is log to the base b of x and t is log to the base b of w. Great. So that gives us the, the property of logarithm that product of the two numbers could be written as sum of their logarithms. Now with the same substitution we can actually expand this one also. So here we could write uh, log to the base b x I'm replacing by so we are using this substitution in these equations okay so we'll substitute uh, for x b to the power of s so I'll write b to the power of s for w b to the power of t exponential laws logarithms are inverse of these therefore this helps right so we have s minus t as the exponent and that gives us s minus t, s and t are log b of x minus log b of w, right? So that gives us the second one. Now in this particular case, what we will do is we'll substitute x as a power of b, right? So here we'll do a different substitution. Let us say x is equals to b to the power of s, right? So we'll do this substitution and then see what we get. So we can write this as log to the base b. Instead of x, I'm writing b to the power of s. So b to the power of s to the power of r. This is written as log to the base b, b to the power of s times r, right? So that is the product. So that will give you, this is, this is like uh, log to the base b of b with the product s times r, so that is s times r. s and r are what? s is equal to, we can see from here, uh, r times s I should write, so, so r, we can take log this, let me, let me, let me go one step ahead here. If I take log both sides, I get log to the base b of x is equals to s, right? So from here we can get this. So, so s is log to the base b of x. So we could write this as r times, let me write, r times s and s is log to the base b of x, correct? 
So that is how we could actually translate this into the formula. So these are the properties of logarithms which you can apply to solve logarithmic equations and also to write expressions in sum or difference form or the reverse kind of you can go from some difference to the product or quotient form. So we'll take a few examples where we are going to apply these rules to understand how to simplify logarithmic expressions or equations. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.